Where do you focus when watching sports? I think most people probably focus on scenes such as getting points. On the other hand, have you paid attention to the player's movements? They are jumping very high. In sports, especially ball games, there are a lot of situations that require jumping, but he Hi everyone, I'm Shota. All of a sudden, do you usually play sports? Most people here probably do. Or I think you did it when you were a student. There are many kinds of sports. But I am going to talk about the ball game here. Then did you need to jump high in the sport? And have you ever wanted to jump high? Even if you don't jump high, I think there are a lot of situations where you jump. Today, I want to talk about how you can quickly improve your jumping ability. Why is the factor that motivated me to do this because I want to jump high? This is the outline. I'll talk about three main points. First, it is about the muscles used when jumping. You'll find you're using more muscle than you think. Second, here's how to actually jump to get the highest jump. You'll find out how you jumped later. Third, I'll talk about how to jump cleanly. I want to talk about it based on the sports I've played, but I think the same is true in other sports. The muscles used in jumping. Which muscles do you think you use when jumping? Most people probably think it's a basin on the feet. But you're actually using more muscle than you think. Let's start with the next. The first is the shoulder and arm muscles. To jump high, you need to shake your arms strongly to create a reaction. You need to train your pectoralis major to shake it. The second is the pectoral, abdominal, and back muscles. These muscles, called the trunk, can be trained to stabilize your position in the air. The third is the muscles near the hips and hips. Some people may wonder why you need it, but the gluteus maximus actually exerts a powerful force when jumping up and down. The fourth is the high muscle. This muscle is needed to extend the hip joint and bend the knee. And this role helps you jump. My own impression is that the thigh muscles of volleyball players are bigger than the calf muscles. Finally, the fifth is the calf muscle. It becomes a muscle to kick up the ground using the muscles below the knee. We really only need to train the muscles here to improve your jumping ability, but here's how to jump, how to use these muscles effectively. The purpose of the verification here is to see how far you actually jumped. First, we examine three items, vertical jump, bending and stretching, and jumping from the run-up. Test these leaps with multiple people and measure your jumping ability. First, I took a vertical flight to check the height. For this flight, the height was 5 cm. Based on this, we verified other methods since you can't use your whole body, it's probably because you can't use your whole muscles. Then I swung his arms and flew with my knees bent. For this flight, the height was 35 cm. In this flight, the spring of the body is used, but you can see that you are not really able to jump much because the whole body is not available. Finally, I flew with an approach run. This flight is the same as the action of a spike in volleyball. The jump at this time was 45 centimeters. These measurements were based on the average of five people with the help of five experienced volleyball players. By the way, the video was not recorded due to trouble, 
but it jumped as you would expect. What you can say from these three ways of flying is that jumping is better when you use your whole body. Finally, based on the verification so far, I would like to introduce you to the most beautiful and highest jump. It is the following jump. This character is the main character of a certain volleyball animation. He is 160 centimeters, which is rather small for an attacker, but his highest hitting point is 333 centimeters, which is really flying. Actually, I think it is a big part of his regular efforts such as muscle training, but I think there is a reason for the way he jumps. In fact, there are two points that I want you to see, the arm and the ankle. Notice the arm. You'll see that the timing of stepping in is the same as the timing of swinging the arm. Also focus on the ankle. You can see that the Achilles tendon is neatly stretched. The Achilles tendon is responsible for transmitting force to the heel, and it stretches the Achilles tendon to use the force of the spring to bounce the force just above. I think these two are the result of making the most of the body's spring, as I explained earlier. Now, let's summarize what we learned from this verification. These things may be obvious to people in sports, but can they actually fly with their whole body like this? Also, if you jump in a strange way, you may hurt your back as I did. Even if you don't play sports, you may still fly when you pick up something on a high shelf, so why not try it then? Thank you for listening. Created using Powtoon.